you become JCIPG member and what attracted you to this NGO? Okay, I get to know JCIPG when I went back to Taiping actually from a, a friend um, who is same university with me and she went to Taiping, uh, worked in Taiping and joined JCI Taiping at the time in year 2000. So during uh, I think one of the public holiday I went back then uh, she mentioned to me that she joined a very meaningful organization and she has been uh, learned a lot. So that time I was also thinking that uh, yeah, my life I don't want to everyday working right after I graduate. Uh, I just graduated from UST at that time. So from there I, uh, I think she get my handphone number and passed to BB Clement Ong, the uh, president of JCIPJ. moment maybe I'm not capable to do so but I have the courage to try 
and uh, to to work together to reach out the, the right resources, then uh, become uh, I able to achieve it. End of the day. Mm. So this affect me not only from my earlier uh, career when I am under employment. It also lead me to uh, later I dare to come out and, uh, under self-employed, uh, join uh, the financial planning industry. Then later I uh, start my own business. Mm. What are the things that you like about GCIPJ? Mm, I think what I like about GCIPJ is the, the warmness as a family members of all the GCIPJ uh, family uh, from past presidents to uh, existing member and also the new member from different generations uh, since I joined year 2000 until now for 20 years <laughs> Same family <laughs> What are your greatest Prop moment, achievement, funny thing, or anything that happened during in JCIPJ? Prop moment. Actually, for me, so many years I joined JCIPJ, I feel proud is when I see a new member when they join. Uh, some of them they are very timid, some of them can't even speak uh, well in public. But later, through the grooming in JCIPJ, the leadership growth, everything, and one day I really see them on stage and speak so well. Uh, one of them uh, is uh, whom I know since young is uh, our PP Joey is one of them. Then I see so many members, and another one is I think our PMP Nuru. Uh, I feel so touched when she uh, go up, went up to the stage to receive the TOYN as the recipients and uh, I feel that from the day she joined, uh, she left uh, Petronas, uh, don't have much confidence until she grew herself, taking up a small MC role, then become trainer, become uh, JCIPJ president, become NSG and also PNP, ah no, uh, national president, national president, then later uh, go to international at, uh, arena, then become one of the, our 10 outstanding young Malaysian, uh, most outstanding, eh? the most outstanding young Malaysian, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, can I know who are the most memorable person during your time in JCI, PJ and why? Uh, I think it's my uh, first president in JCI, PJ with PP Clement Ong. Yeah, during his year, actually, he shared with us a lot of the uh, so-called um, the, the right attitude and mindset as a new member. Then later, uh, we, we, uh, from our president, we grow as a friends. Then until now, he's still very supportive. Mm, yeah. Uh, can you tell us something that other people doesn't know about you? So is there any <laughs> secret secret that uh, that you want, want to share with uh, our JCIPJ members? Mm. Okay, uh, maybe just I just want to share that uh, for me, uh, learning is a lifetime uh, so-called uh, value for me. So in January next year, I'm going back to university to study <laughs> yeah maybe it's something that uh, don't know uh, people don't know about me yeah mm, I take up a, a course in US uh, so through through a uh, web uh, with online study mm. okay good uh, can you describe yourself in five words then I will say that uh, for me nothing is impossible as I mentioned uh, just now yeah and why I have this feeling also uh, is because I have one group of JCRP PJ members that give me this kind of feeling. So whenever we have some crazy idea, right, then I will talk to this group of people, then everyone will say, oh, good idea, let's do it. <laughs> so because of this kind of positive energy, uh, the people around me, so make me like, I always think that nothing is impossible. Uh, because a lot of things, I do not do it alone. Yeah. I feel very uh, proud uh, in my JCI 
that BJ journey is I managed to uh, get to know so many JCI BJ uh, PPs and even though uh, old members and new members from different era since I joined in year 2000 means that it's 20 years ago so I joined as new member in year 2000 and from do not know anything every day uh, follow our president go here and there that is our PP, uh, JCI senator PP Clement Ong yeah, very, very active in uh, PJ then after that we go everywhere uh, with a lot of new members that time we uh, organize ANC Annual National Convention so it's NETCOM what, what we call NETCOM now okay later uh, we, I learned from PP Michael, Michael Ya then uh, go my career until uh, PP Yonglen Kiong PP Silence here then I uh, stop we, uh, I stopped from JCIPJ for to build my family. I get married in year two zero zero three. So from there, I uh, grow my family. One to two year, new one baby. <laughs> then one to two year, one promotion. <laughs> my friend always say one baby, one promotion. <laughs> so that time I temporarily uh, leave JCIPJ. Of course, my heart is still with uh, PJ. But just that physically, uh, I put different priority. Then later in year two zero zero nine, PP Kenneth and PP JCI Senator, uh, PP JCI Senator Kenneth Fong and also JCI Senator uh, PP Sina come to meet me and, and saying that uh, they are uh, looking for a incoming year president candidate. Then from there. Uh, P.P. Clement's advice always in my mind <laughs> said that uh, you, I need to become a president in order to graduate from JCI okay then you really learn something yeah. okay so I come back after I discuss with my husband I go back to JCI PJ to take up the challenging role as a JCI PJ uh, so-called president in year 2000, uh, 2011 okay so um, yeah, sorry, uh, actually they come, I, I go come back in year 2010. Ah, uh, 2010, and I joined back in year 2011 as a president. Okay, so from there, I also feel very thankful for that year's uh, members and also my IPPs, PP Kenner Fong. They supported me so much. Uh, of course, I'm a board of directors. That year, we uh, won the most outstanding chapter for Home Malaysia and uh, also the most outstanding uh, president of the year. So without the support from all past presidents and the members and board directors, I don't think we can have that kind of achievement. Mm. One thing I feel very wonderful as a JCI member is we were never feel bored even though we get old. <laughs> like I can see our so many past presidents or PNPs, right? Um, whenever they want to come back, there's a big family who is waiting for them and welcome them to come back. Because I, when I talk to a lot of my other friends, right, who is non JCI member, a lot of them they retire, they get bored, they don't know what to do. For us, it's then we are, we are, I always tell my friends is in JCI PJ, right? Once you join, then later you never. Uh, worry about getting bored for the rest of your life. <laughs> mm. What I gain from JCIPJ is from the in year two thousand right because I'm from the uh, Chinese educated uh, background. So even though I graduated from university uh, at that time, but because of the lack of the opportunity to speak in English, so when I joined JC. I at time in project meetings, in board of directors meetings, we are we are not really able to to uh, conduct the meeting or to deliver our thought in uh, during the meeting in English smoothly actually. So from from the year I joined, right, even though we pick uh, Michael Yap, he also said that wow, wait, wait, after you join JCI, uh, you really can 
can see you. Uh, I go through a lot of this public speaking. Lah. I go for a rebate competition and I think that time won the second runner, uh, first runner up, I think. So all this uh, is because of the JCI that provide the platforms for me to, uh, to learn and also to dare to speak up during the meeting. Because in JCI, we used to give our opinion uh, with how to chair meeting, how to uh, give our report in a systematic way. So during uh, my own company meeting, even though in the multinational company, so I dare to stand up and speak and ask questions, ask to the boss, uh, the boss or directors. So this make uh, me feel that uh, it's a growth slowly from someone who is not fluent in English, then later can uh, actually deliver my my speech, my report, everything uh, in a more constructive way. Mm, and dare to speak up. Okay, if you can share with me what made you become JCIPJ and what attracted you to this NGO. Okay, uh, I get to know uh, JCIPJ from a friend who uh, is my uni mate that uh, working work in JC uh, work in Taiping. Okay, work in Taiping. Um, during that time, she worked in Taiping and she feel very boring and uh, she joined JCI in Taiping. Uh, one of the public holidays, I went back, then I talked to her. Then she introduced me to JCI PJ and passed my number to BB Clement Hong, who is the president of uh, JCI PJ in year 2000. Mm. Okay. So your life changed on that public holiday onwards? Uh? Yeah. <laughs> Become very busy every day. <laughs> Go up.